Like, people got so many questions about boost ports, true extra transfers, and do I run a boost port on a piston port? I don't know if you can see, but yes, I do. Typically, it's a lot smaller. Uh, what does it help? It helps low end. It helps prevent it getting from loaded up. Uh, one thing in common, all my boost ports have in common, is the roof height, right? All of them open at the transfer duration opening line. That way, don't change your blow down. Gone over this, what's blow down? Blow down is the separation, the distance between your transfer opening and your exhaust port roof. How do you change your blow down? You increase the blow down by lifting your exhaust port. That's what you do when you board a motor. You lift the exhaust, you lower the intake. You never fuck with the floor on the exhaust, and you do the floor on the intake. I don't know where the confusion is. Cause and effect of blowdown. Typical blowdown on a stock cylinder is 15 degrees. That's good for low wind power. Motorcycle guys, they never can get enough blowdown to a certain extent. We don't have the luxury of being able to run more than 30 degrees blowdown and have expect any low end power. Typically, a higher RPM motor will have more blowdown. What blowdowns have I ran? I've ran, I definitely don't ever run 15. I run for anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees blowdown. 30 degrees is going to be a boat anchor down low and it'll scream up top. As I said before, I like 20, 22 degrees, 24 degrees of blow down. But I look at what's called blow down percentage. What is that? You simply take your blow down, divide that by your total transfer opening duration. Very simple math. How do you figure out blow down? I'm gonna go over this for the 50th time. You find out what your exhaust port opens at, say 85 degrees. These are just hypothetical numbers. If your exhaust port opens at 85 degrees and your transfer opens at 65 degrees, you would have 20 degrees blow down. Those are hypothetical numbers. So don't try porting your cylinder with them numbers and expect it to run great. You guys want, you want all the magic, but you don't want to put in the homework, man. Trying my best to answer these questions as logical as I can. But back to the same question. Do I run a boost port on my piston port? Yes, I do. Piston port. And then I see the other stupid ones. Open transfers, people changing this angle. You guys are pissing in the wind, man. Uh, just half the time I don't even touch the transfer. I change my transfer by lifting the cylinder and decking the top. Best I can answer your shit.